friends, I'm Jennifer and I'm excited to show you some of my very favorite new releases from the January 2021 release. Starting with babies, we have these cute mirror books. Do you see how good this mirror is? There I am! Um, baby animals, who's the cutest of them all? There's actually three like this. And my little one loves looking at herself in the mirror. Has cute little questions. Can you yap like a puppy? Can you cheep like a chick? And then in the end it says, who's the cutest? The cutest is you. All right, we also have Finger Wiggly Worms, which is a brand new series you guys can enjoy with your little ones, putting your fingers through and following the worms on their way to meet all of their friends in the compost pile. I know you guys love our reusable sticker books. Good as new is brand new. It comes with five cast band-aids and you follow the friends through their misadventures in this wonderful board book and you help them heal up. Don't worry, giraffe, a cast will make it good as new and you'll feel all better too. If silly picture books are a hit in your house like they are in mine, you're gonna love some of our new additions. We have two wrong fairy tales. So we have Goldilocks and the Three Little Pigs and Jack and the Three Bears. And it's just what you might imagine. It is characters, fairy tale characters, getting mixed up in each other's story. They're really cute, especially if your kids know the stories of the correct fairy tales. You guys will have a good laugh enjoying those. My very favorite silly story we just came out with is Now That's a Hat. This is a rhyming story, which is always my favorite kind of book. And it is super, super silly. I read it to my kids with funny voices and we all get a good giggle about this guy that just can't find the perfect hat. And when he finally does, uh-oh. A great book for the imagination is Never Show a T-Rex a Book. So this uh, sweet little girl shows a T-Rex her book and then it starts a series of events that are going to um, open your kid's imagination. And in the end, it even says, right, that's quite enough imagining for one day, but there's nothing to stop you imagining something completely different tomorrow. And you can start some really fun conversations with your kids about that. We all want kind kids. Just the thing, we want to raise good humans. So along with Miss Molly's School of Manners, which we have, we now have Miss Molly's School of Kindness. And Miss Molly is gonna take these three little fox siblings to her different classes on different types of kindness. And there are lots of things that you will be able to talk to your kids about as you go through this, because these are things that they're experiencing every day, whether it's at school or with their family or playing with friends, and they're gonna learn good manners. And it's really funny because at the end of this book, their dad actually has to go to the School of Kindness as well. When you're ready for kind of longer stories in a picture book, you can't go wrong with our combined volumes or our illustrated stories. So here are some of our brand new ones. With this release, we have illustrated stories of dragons. If you have kids that like dinosaurs and dragons and myths and things, this is great. It talks about um, classic stories with dragons that you're probably not familiar with. Some illustrations, but lots of great text. Then we have 10 minute animal stories. So you may be familiar with our 10 minute bedtime stories. This is kind of the same series. Um, there is less text and more pictures in this one, but they're beautiful. A lot of these are stories that your kids um, may be familiar with already, but they're told in new ways, which is something I love. I like my kids hearing the same story in lots of different versions. It gives us a lot of things to talk about and they can kind of pick up on some of the nuances of the story. And then the last one I'm gonna show you is Forgotten Fairy Tales of Courage and Kindness. This is the third one in our series. We do have from Brave Girls um, Around the World and um, another Forgotten Fairy Tales of Brave and Brilliant Girls. And this is um, more text, less pictures, but stories that you haven't heard. So if you have kids that are interested in fairy tales, but they feel like they've heard them all, this is a wonderful series of kind of outside of the box fairy tales that your kids are gonna love. For chapter books, we have a couple new Billy B. Brown books, which I know you love, and a new series called Freddy's Amazing Bakery. I just finished this one with my kids. I couldn't get enough of it. It's a little mystery, um, but it the main character is a little boy that owns a bakery in town. And so in the end, there's even some recipes that you can make with your kids. A new activity series we have, Look and Find Puzzles. I know I get a lot of questions about Seek and Finds, and this is a really great combo book. 
So this kind of combines the um, seek and find where you are looking for things. Your kids don't necessarily have to read to do this because they can just look at the picture and the number and then find them. But it's also like our picture puzzle books in that there are little prompts throughout the page of things you can find. If you're reading it with your kid, you can even come up with new ones for them to find on every spread. And last but not least, we have Little Helper's Laundry Day Sort and Play. This is an interactive book, perfect for toddlers, especially if you're trying to get them to help with chores. You have these little pieces in the laundry basket, and as you read through the story, it's gonna give you different instructions for you to hang them on the line and fold them and put them away in the drawers. And then at the end of the book, you even get to dress the characters. I hope you're excited to check out some of our new releases.